Good morning, DSA. Today we have some special guests here from Little Flower School in Ghana, Africa. This is Miss Aba Kato Anda and Mr. Kobe Kato. Right. So we're going to be collecting books to send to their school in Africa. Miss um, Abba's mom, Mrs. Rita Kato, started this school in Africa many years ago, and now there's, they need books for their library. So we're going to um, collect books like we did last year for Alta Vista and send them books um, over in Ghana. I wanted to ask you guys, so the school is located in Ghana. So how many students are there at the school? There are uh, 430 students approximately at Little Flower okay. School. Basically, it covers um, elementary and middle school, so pretty much the same age as you kids are okay. here at DSA. So what inspired your mom to start this school? She, she was a kindergarten teacher and had such a heart, but she always wanted to start her own school. Uh, I believe right from the first year she began teaching, she had that dream and had decided on the name of the school. So she started in 1985. So it's a private school, um, but really the aim of Little Flower School is to provide a real quality education, but the school fees aren't too terribly expensive. And so it began to grow. Every year she would add on an, an extra grade, and now it's up to the equivalent of eighth grade. So you live there, right, I in Ghana? There, yes. So what is the weather like there, like the uh, weather just conditions? The tropical, just like you'd find here in uh, Florida very hot, sunny, mm -hmm. and uh, bright skies. Ghana is just above the equator. It's oh, wow. interesting, yeah. yes. <laughs> so we have two seasons, yeah. the dry season and then the rainy season. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So I know you have some pictures for us. So this picture over here demonstrates the graduation ceremony. So it's just a, a great opportunity for, for, for them to have a day where they feel they're being celebrated, but also their parents can get an opportunity to see exactly what they've, how far they've mm -hmm. come. The kids engage in creative pursuits and they also develop the whole concept of character. Character development, leadership, and uh, self-confidence, being able to public, uh, engage in some mm -hmm. elements of public speaking. Mm -hmm. We also discovered through our evolution that some of the students, because Ghana is a developing country, some of the students don't have the capacity to pay for their education, mm -hmm. but they have a great, I mean, great potential hidden within them. So there was a student, so when they approached us, they wanted to know if we could give a, a, a scholarship of sorts. And so we provided this scholarship and the student had so much in terms of musical talent, leadership, and just a great, great human being who had you know, a lot of character and a lot mm -hmm. of promise and he's come back to serve as a mentor to a lot of the students in the school. Oh. He comes and talks to the students. His backstory, even prior to coming to Little Flower School, was interesting because he, um, his dad lost his job, and so he literally was making money to help feed his family by helping to just fill potholes in the road. He, he, he has eight brothers and sisters, and he had to drop out of school. Now, prior to that, the, uh, uh, so then he, he was found by this American group, and because of his talent, he actually ended up going on tour. The, the, there's a group called Bono of You Too. He went on tour with him, uh, toured, I think, a, a bunch of states. He met Nelson Mandela. He, oh, wow. he was on stage with both Bono and Beyonce. He managed to do all those great, amazing things. Uh, and so his life, you know, um, has been down. He's seen some downs and he's seen some ups. But again, because of Little Flower School and the scholarship we're able to provide him, he, he was able to make it through, graduate high school, finish college, and he's now back and giving back to the school. You've done a lot of good in the school, so what we're going to be doing, DSA, is um, collecting books to stock their library. So we're going to do like last year and have um, incentives for you to collect books, and um, it's going to be really, it's going to be really cool, I think, to, or it's, it's becoming bigger than our community because last year we gave books to a school in our community, but this is larger. Yes, this is yes. all the way to Africa, so mm -hmm. I think it's going to be really exciting. So. We're very grateful to you guys Absolutely. for all you're doing. You know, I always say it's the power of a friendship. I, I know Miss Brayton, and I had mentioned to her just a couple of months ago that I had taken a trip back home and you know what we were doing, and she immediately came on board 
immediately called you that evening and uh, and this whole thing is starting to come to life. We're so grateful mm -hmm. for everything you're doing for Little Flower School. Well, thank you yes. for, uh, this is going to be a really cool opportunity for us. So I'm excited to help you guys out. I'm going to get the whole school excited about it. So Excellent. thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Thank That's very all much. we have for you today. Bye, DSA.